We've moved on from the kitchen to the dining room to talk about table settings for the holidays. We're back with Roberta Lombardi, the creator of The Elegant Occasion, and you've created an elegant occasion for <laughs> us right Thank here. You. This you. is beautiful. Well, I love beautiful tables. I love my kids get the biggest kick out of seeing the finished table sure. and, and helping and me set help the you. table. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So every year I try to do something a little bit different for my table. And this year, the centerpieces are boxwood trees. And the beauty of this is you make it yourself. It is very simple, and believe me, if I can do it, anybody can. And they will last the whole month, as long as you keep them cold and watered. Okay. Really? OK. And I just want to take a minute to show you how easy it is to do. So we have this little planter here, and there I just spray painted it gold. And then I put the oasis, or floral foam, as they call it, right down through the center. And you can get the floral foam anywhere. At any craft store. OK, now this is what boxwoods look like. They're little branches. Oh. All you have to do is break off little pieces. See how easy? and just put it into the foam. Now, where do you get the boxwoods? You, I got this at the grocery store. I just purchased it How right simple. from the floral department. So I'm just filling in the foam. So really, you just have to keep the tree shape is the just goal here, the right? Tree shape. <laughs> and it's not hard to do, as you can see. And then when you're, when you're through with that, then you add your ornamental uh, touches. You can do, certainly, fresh flowers. You oh. can do roses. Um, you know what you can also do is those cute little small seckle pears. Oh, And you can yes. get a partridge and stick it on top and like do Fitting. the partridge oh, and the pear tree oh, thing. Isn't that cute? But so then you just add your ornamental touches and you have this beautiful tree. And like I said, just water it and keep it cool and it will last the whole month. Good tip. Okay. Let's move on to the place setting. Well, the place setting, so my Christmas china, which I break out every year after Thanksgiving, and then my place card holders this year is just a beautiful pine cone that's been spray painted gold. Simple and elegant. And then I always, as we've talked about, give a gift mm -hmm. when you've been at my house. So this year, these beautiful little baby poinsettias. Perfect gift. For every Everyone person that something. attends. So everybody yeah. leaves with oh, a little something. And they're adorable. And you mix the colors? Mix the colors up. Absolutely. And so they all get a gift. It says Christmas. They'll remember it. And you know, <laughs> don't laugh, but I have poinsettias in my house that have survived for a year. A lot of well, people My do. husband you just, just keeps bringing thumb? them back. I don't. My husband does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps bringing them back, and they're beautiful. Now, every time you're here, you always have a charger. I think that's key when you're setting a table. I think it gives it a pop. I think mm -hmm. it gives your plates a pop, your whole table. And, you know, just another great tip is mix and match. Mix and match the formal with mm -hmm. the informal. If I was going to be doing a soup course, I'd probably use my white soup bowls that are just my everyday dish on top of the gold rim. It just adds more depth, and it adds more visual interest when you mix things up. And tablecloths and napkins. Tablecloths, right. These napkins I use all year long. I use them on a white uh, tablecloth in the summer to add a little sparkle in the evening. Um, I use them at Thanksgiving with a brown tablecloth. I mean, they just go with so much. So they're sparkle like, goes right with right? everything. The sparkle goes with everything. So they're, they're just a perfect staple to have in your linens. And some people don't know how to set a table. You. Well, just way. that is that is you know I did a whole show on a this. A lot of people show is like that. Yes, because you really you really want to eat from the outside in. So the fork and the spoon that you're going to use first goes to the outside, and you work your way in. And with knives, something a lot of people did not know is your wine glass that you're going to eat with your entree should really be right off the tip of the knife you're going to use for okay. your entree course. Oh, Very good, but we're out of time. Thank you all so much for thank all the tips. Thank you. If you want more information, go to theelegantoccasion.com. No